The numbers are historic. Early voting turnout across the state, right here in East Tennessee, is the largest ever for a midterm election. That includes more than 117,000 votes here in Knox County, more than 15,000 in Sevier County, about 29,000 in Blunt, and 17,000 in Anderson County. Just in Knox County, that is nearing 50% of eligible voters already casting a ballot. There they are on your screen. And 10 News reporter Sean Franklin joins us to explain what those numbers could mean on Election Day. Sean? That's right, Rob and John. Experts say there's a lot of energy from both Democrats and Republicans, but they agree what's going to happen Tuesday night is still a mystery. If you've already voted, you're one of nearly 1.3 million here in Tennessee. Well, I think the one thing that we can conclude from these numbers is that the level of interest in this election is abnormally high. Across the state and here in East Tennessee, early voting numbers more than doubled the last midterm election in 2014. After that, I'm not sure the numbers can tell us much of anything. UT political science professor Dr. Anthony Noun says that's because the numbers are up in all metro areas from Memphis to Knoxville. Looking at some of the numbers for um, Williamson County, the numbers are up and that is a traditionally Republican county. So you think, oh, that's good for Republicans. Well, uh, early voting is also up in uh, Davidson and Shelby County. So do those two offset each other? Maybe, maybe not. But at a local level, Inside Tennessee panelist Don Bosch, a Democrat, and Susan Williams, a Republican, can predict some of the trends. Downtown West is Knox County's busiest early voting site. It jumped from nearly 15,000 early voters in 2014 to almost 31,000 in 2018. Well, Downtown West has traditionally been a Republican voting, voting area. Farragut has been Republican Love Kitchen is one of those that's not city county building. It's purple, I would say, that maybe more blue than red. Bosch agrees, saying the downtown corridor is often blue. Start looking at more of the city precincts, certainly a higher Democratic uh, demographic they are voting blue. It's all speculation right now, and we won't find the real answers until after the polls close. Just going to have to wait till Tuesday night, just like we always have. Now it says events like the hearings surrounding Supreme Court Judge Brett Kavanaugh brought both Republicans and Democrats out to the polls. So we also doesn't expect that will affect who will win Tuesday night. Guys.